Right. I think um, this is again probably just goes back to another mistake as well. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Where a lot of people think about um, influencer uh, or maybe I think yeah, influencer marketing, right? Or getting them to speak in one of your webinars or things is a very transactional thing, right? Okay. They'd be like, huh, okay, um, I did this, they did this, done, right? Okay. It doesn't work, life doesn't work that way, right? You need to really look at why does someone have to actually come on board your uh, webinar, things like that, right? Even when we did a lot of this, we still maintain relationships. In fact, I, I don't belong to Fresh Sales, uh, um, the marketing team, but I still, uh, in fact, I'm, I, if I'm traveling to a particular city and I know that my uh, either a customer of mine or let's say a sales leader of my of who's someone who participated in a webinar is in that particular city. I actually reach out to them saying, "Can we meet? I'd love to kind of grab a cup of coffee." Or yeah. So the the I think the most important thing about that part, right? Where it's I think LinkedIn actually is a great platform to do that. Where you're able to regularly engage and not just do it because you're you're trying to follow that seven steps to kind of get in front of them. No, not it's not that way, but it's it's about trying to build genuine relationships where you think, hey, how can we build a long lasting effect on the sales community, right? Um, we 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 would love to support them in different formats. They would they we expect or we anticipate for them to support us as well somewhere. So it's it's never that hey uh, I I reached out to this person they gave me a backlink or a blog, and I'm done, right? You can you cannot screw relationships like that, right? And in fact, I think it's it's just become a like a quick win game, but it's not, right? You have to think about it from a long. But um, we've we I, I would still still say we are a long way to go for, for actually building a very solid community. But I think we had a I think we have a, a good start in place where we've built a strong community around sales leaders where. Even today, a lot of them actually wish me for my birthday. I wish them for New Year and things like that. That's a very warm thing to happen. I, I never expected like a, a large sales leader in the US to kind of remember. Or, or I mean, it could even just be a notification on LinkedIn. Yeah. But it still means a lot uh, from a relationship standpoint. Hey!